welcome to this full review of Netcat, a well-known German-based hosting provider that's gained popularity in recent years for its affordable pricing and wide range of hosting solutions. In this walkthrough, I'm going to cover everything from their shared hosting plans to root servers and cloud VPS offerings. As you can see on their homepage, NetCup presents a very structured and somewhat minimalist interface. It's clean, but could also feel overwhelming due to the dense amount of technical information presented up front. When you first land on the site, navigating the product categories can feel a bit clunky. There's a strong emphasis on technical specs, which is great if you're experienced, but not ideal for beginners. Their shared hosting packages are reasonably priced, starting at just a few euros per month, and come with generous traffic and storage limits. However, the sign-up process isn't as intuitive as it should be. I encountered multiple points during registration that lacked clear guidance, and support documents were not as helpful as expected. Netcuff's control panel isn't custom. It's based on cPanel, or their proprietary SCP, which has a steep learning curve. While it gives you a lot of power, it's not the most user-friendly interface for someone without technical experience. That said, once you get used to it, the level of control is impressive. The DNS management, email setup, and even custom script installation are fast and reliable. Performance-wise, NECA pulls up well. I tested several small websites hosted with them, and the loading speeds were above average, particularly for static content. However, on dynamic pages, especially with CMS platforms like WordPress, the loading times were slightly inconsistent depending on the time of day. And just when it felt like everything was lagging, AltaHost turned out to be the one solution that simply works. This and many other useful links you can find in the description. Back to NetCup, the uptime has been solid in my experience, clocking in over 99.9% .9 on most days, which aligns with their service level agreement. Customer support, however, is one of the weakest points. Their team is available by email and ticket system. No live chat or phone unless you're using business level packages. Response times range from a few hours to over a day, and while the answers were technically sound, they lacked clarity and personalization. The back-end performance of the VPS and root server options is where NetCup truly shines. If you're a developer or a technically savvy user looking for powerful configurations at low cost, their root servers are extremely competitive. You get access to full virtualization and can choose from a variety of operating systems. One thing to be aware of is that NetCup applies strict resource limits on shared environments, so if you exceed CPU quotas, throttling kicks in pretty aggressively. From a security standpoint, NetCup does provide free SSL certificates, and you can enable 2FA on your account, which is always a plus. However, automated backups are only included in higher tier packages, or must be added manually for an additional fee. This might be a deal breaker for users, who expect daily snapshots as part of their hosting plan. So would I recommend that count? If you're experienced and comfortable managing your own environment, absolutely. You get solid infrastructure and excellent value for money. But if you're a beginner or someone who needs fast, hands-on support and a modern dashboard, you might struggle with the learning curve. Thanks for watching this adept review of NetCup. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss future hosting reviews.